So I wanted to do a video on how to start handling the monitor to get it used to being picked up, to tame it down because I think it's really important to do it when the babies. Any monitor, whether it's a Savannah monitor, lace monitor, crocodile monitor, whatever monitor, it's really important to handle them when the babies get used to you. Because interaction is how they do it. So when you first start when the babies just handle them for a few seconds, otherwise they'll get stressed out and uh, that's bad for them and probably bad for your fingers because you will get bit but yeah a few seconds and then as the monitor grows then uh, handle it more often and more frequently and eventually it'll be puppy dog tame so yeah this is how I handle my monitor it might not be how you handle yours or how your friend handles theirs personally I don't give a shit this works for me if it doesn't work for you then fair enough then show us how you handle yours personally this is the best way for me so yeah uh, what I do is I just put a box over it clear box and all I do is I stick my hands under it under the substrate it will freak out it'll jump out my hand after a few seconds but if doing this every day it's a lot better than using a gardening glove because my hands are big compared to the lizard and if I put a gardening glove on my hands are going to appear two or three times bigger than they actually are which is going to freak the lizard out even more so I prefer to do it this way that way I don't need gloves um, so yeah, anyway I get a container and I put it over the monitor lizard and I just slide my hand under the substrate the monitor lizard's more preoccupied with getting out of the tub and doesn't really care about my hands Oops, did that wrong. Hang on a second. And then I just pick it up like that. Oop, calm down, little guy. Calm down, you see it. So, yeah, I didn't get bit. The monitor's quite happy where it is. He's not jumping out, he's not freaking out. He's actually staying on my hand longer than I thought he would. So, yeah, that's how I handle the baby monitor, how I start handling them for the first time and then like I say as they get older they should get more used to you they'll get more used to being picked up like this and eventually you can just pick them up out of the box and you just handle them for longer until it's like 10-15 minutes a day you handle them for and eventually they'll just get used to you to the point of being uh, just as tame as a puppy dog like what my big savannah monitor is He's really tame, so yeah. So I'm just going to shut up and show the monitor now in my hand. This is the longest it's ever been on my hand. I've done this twice today already. And I just thought I'll make this video, which is why I'm doing it for the third time. Even though I said just to do it once or twice a day. But yeah. I'm sure if I moved suddenly he would jump out my hand, which I'm not going to do because I don't want him to jump out my hand. Because he might hurt himself in the process. But yeah, there he is. Pretty cool little guy. Now I haven't got any photos of me holding him yet, so I'll end the video now. And if he stays on my hand, I'll take photos of there uh, photos of him on my hand, and then I'll upload it to Facebook because I don't have any photos yet, like I say. So yeah, I'll move him away from the cap. Sorry, I'll move him away from the camera, and I'll move my hand towards the camera to press the shutter to end the video. Just real slowly. That's the end of the video. Bye for now. And I'll do a little sort of video on him properly later on. So goodbye for now.